Good morning, guys. I just woke up. It's 8 a.m. But I'm super excited because today we're gonna do a what I eat in a day at home. Because the last time we did it, it was pretty much at work and like on the go. So I didn't really show you guys what is the easy, simple recipe to make at home. So let's do it. So I always start my day with the hot water with lemon. It has a lot of uh, vitamin C and it's just really refreshing in the morning. Whenever I eat this or drink this actually, it just gives me like a healthy feeling. So I kind of think it helps me with like the mindset for the rest of the day. And I just squeeze half a lemon in hot water. I also think it's really good for your digestion. So when you drink it on an empty stomach, it like kickstarts your digestion. Sometimes the pits fall in, but that's fine. And then I just sit on the couch for like 20 minutes and I just check my phone and I sip on this water because it's good to like let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes before you have your breakfast. So now it's time for breakfast. And as you guys know, it's my favorite part of the day. Like when I lay in bed, I just look forward to my breakfast. So we're gonna make oatmeal and I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. So we're gonna start with measuring 40 grams of oats. Um, I'm not sure what it is in US, but it really depends on how hungry I am. Sometimes I do 40 grams, sometimes 50, sometimes 60, it really depends. Okay, I'm gonna put it in here. Then the next step, I always put half a banana, but you can also put the whole one. It depends on how sweet you want it. And then I'm gonna mesh it in this little bowl. Okay, the next step is I'm gonna add some hot water in here. You can also put some almond milk or oat milk, whatever you like. I just like water and then I'll start to boil it. And I really think it's important to keep stirring. So you make it like really nice and creamy. That's how we like it. And then like after a minute or two, um, I'll add this banana and I cook it with the oats. I boil it for like six minutes, I think. And I keep stirring. Then it's done. So I put the oatmeal in here and I just like oatmeal so much because it's really high in fiber and it has a lot of like good carbs. So it keeps me full so long, like until lunchtime. And it's just really tasteful. It's like a little pie. Um, I just love it. I'm obsessed with it. So now it's time for the toppings. And it's my favorite part because you can do everything different every day. Um, so I'm starting with a mix of like goji berries, uh, pumpkin seeds. I think there are mulberries in there, just a lot of like different, different kind of seeds. Then the next topping I picked today is chia seeds. And chia seeds are really high in like uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Um, so it keeps you full really long. And that's what we want. Then I'll add the blueberries. I sprinkle some cinnamon because I heard cinnamon is helping to keep your bl blood sugar in control. So I feel like when you eat it with fruit, it really helps. And then last but not least, my favorite peanut butter. This one is the one from Hawaii that I've showed you guys before. So it's really hard to get anywhere. Uh, but also normal peanut butter would work or almond butter, any butter. Because I feel like it's a really nice source of protein and it just makes it super tasty. Okay, now it's time for to eat my breakfast. And I just think breakfast is really important for me because I feel like when I have a good breakfast, I just have fuel for the whole day. Well, not for the whole day, of course, but especially for the beginning of the day. And um, today's a day that we're just, it's weekend, we're hanging with the babies because we're in Holland right now. And then I think this afternoon, we're probably gonna do a quick workout. Okay, it's snack time. And I'm that kind of person that loves to eat five to six times a day, because otherwise I just get hangry. So it's 11 now, and I felt like some fruit, so I'm doing strawberries, and I love to pair it with almonds. I love to combine it with almonds, because when you eat your fruit with uh, something that has fat in there, it helps you to like balance out your blood sugar. 
because sometimes when you just eat the fruit, it like spikes your blood sugar up and then when it goes down, you get really hungry again. Also a little side note, I'm not a nutritionist and this is just how I eat and definitely not every day, like everyone else. Uh, but yeah, this is just the stuff that I like, so keep that in mind. So I just came back from a walk with the babies in the park and now it's lunchtime and guess what? It's avocado toast. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I make my avocado toast when I'm home. And I just love it so much because every time I eat avocado, it makes me feel super satisfied because it has a lot of fats in there. So it stays, I stay pretty much full until dinner. So it's always a little bit of a thing if I start with the toast or with the egg because I both like them to be warm. So I think I'm gonna ask Lauren to help to make my egg. And meanwhile, I'll toast the toast. So welcome to Lauren's cook show. <laughs> He's gonna make me an egg, I think, right? Yes. And I prefer a sunny side of egg today. All right. Explain him about if it. If you hit the egg, you don't wanna hit it too hard because the egg yolk will go everywhere. But if you do it right in the middle, just a quick, quick snap with the wrist. <laughs> and you do it in the pan, it becomes perfect like this. It's what you call sunny side of egg. Okay, I'm gonna toast the toast. And today I'm doing it in a toaster. But you can also do it um, with a little bit of olive oil in the grill. Today we're going for the easy way. So the toast is ready. It's really toasted. I like my bread really toasted. Let me know if you guys like it. Lightly toasted, middle toasted, or really toasted. So I'm cutting my avocado right now, my lovely friend. The next step is I'm gonna slice the avocado, put it on the toast. I love a thick layer of avocado. Some people like, like to have it not too thick, but I'm like, the more avocado, the better. Then on the other half, I do a little bit of hummus. This one is already made, but I always try to find a really clean one that doesn't have too many ingredients. If you can read all the ingredients, then you're good. But if there's stuff on there that you never heard of, don't take it. Then I put a little bit of the other half of the avocado over my hummus. It's a really nice combination because I try to eat not too much eggs and meats, but I still have a hard time like not eating it at all. So I'm trying to find a medium. So then I'll add some pepper, some sea salt, and some chili flakes. You can also play around with your seasonings. You can do cumin, you can add um, garlic, whatever you feel like. And then it's time for the egg. And then last but not least, I love to add some seeds. So these are sprouted watermelon seeds. You can also do pumpkin seeds when you like, you can grill them a little bit. And I just put, put it over and then I'm ready. The egg is a little big, so you can't see the toast anymore, but it's really under there, right? For sure. <laughs> So it's snack time and I love for my snack to be less sugary. It's because it's starting to become the end of the day and it really helps to keep your blood sugars a little bit more down at the end of the day. Otherwise you get cravings later at night. So I'm gonna go for some carrots with cucumber and hummus. And I also make myself some tea and I'm just gonna enjoy my snack now. Bye. So I finally get to try HelloFresh. I've seen it so many times, but now we've been home for a little bit, we can finally try it out. And they have all these different recipes where you can pick from. I think they have family size, calorie smart, uh, vegetarian, and they deliver it to your home whenever you want. So that's really nice because sometimes you're just at work, working all day and you don't really have time to do groceries. So you come home and all your groceries are in your fridge. So for today, I picked this one. It's the eggplant from the oven with feta and pomegranate seeds. And it's something that I think I really like. It also has some rice on the side. Um, so I'm super excited. I hope Lawrence is gonna like it too. So everything is 
pre-measured, what is great because sometimes I tend to cook way too much. I feel like I have a whole family, but it's just for me and Lawrence. So that's great. And also they have this little paper where they say step by step how you have to make it. So that makes it much easier. So I can also make Lawrence do it, for example. So I'm making little cuts in the eggplant, uh, but I think it's because you put the oil on there. And we're gonna mix the oil with the rust al hanout. And that makes the eggplant go really soft and nice. Otherwise it gets really dry in the oven. So I'm gonna put some olive oil in here and then mix it with the seasoning that we got, Ras Al Hanout. And that's what we're gonna put over the eggplant. I think first we're gonna put some aluminium under the eggplant. So the oil doesn't go everywhere. Now we're gonna add the oil. I mix the olive oil with the seasoning and we're gonna put it on the eggplant. So the next step is to put it in the oven and this is Celsius of course. So you put it on 200 uh, for 35 to 40 minutes. So the next step is to cut the pump grenade because we need the seeds. So I have to say it's a little bit of a work to get the seeds out. There must be an easier way to get this out. Maybe I'll let Lawrence do this. He's always a little bit more precise. I'm not really good in this kind of things. So I'm just gonna heat the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds for a little bit and then you put them on the side. So the next step is to boil the rice for 12 to 15 minutes and then I think we're only gonna add the things that have to go on top and I have to say this is pretty easy because it takes me all together because of the eggplant 40 minutes. So that's perfect, it's super simple and then the price is $6.99 per serving, so that's not bad either. So yeah, I'm gonna let it cook now, wait for the eggplant, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Okay, Lawrence, if you go get the eggplant from the oven. Yes. Pretty, huh? Mm -hmm. And now it's time for the toppings. I think we're gonna add first some tahini sauce, then the pomegranate seeds. And not to forget the feta on top of the eggplant. Then we're gonna put some of the rice on the plate. Add some of our pumpkin and sunflower seeds. And then we garnish it with some mint. So I also wanted to share with you guys that I got a really nice promo code from the people from HelloFresh. So you can get your first eight meals for free. So that's like $80 worth of your first month of HelloFresh. So you can go to hellofresh.com and use my code ROMI80 if you want to try it out. And I think it's definitely worth a try. Bon appetit! Okay, this was what I eat in a day at home. I hope you guys liked it. And let me know if you guys have tried something out. And if you guys have any nice ideas for new videos.